Okay then guys, so here we are for the, um, well, what I'm going to call final, but I'll probably end up making more cheat engine tutorials later on, or at least the last one of this initial series um, of the cheat engine tutorials. This one's going to be about dissecting data structs, and um, well, that pretty much is it. So what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to run a game that you guys know as Black Ops. So I'm going to run Black Ops. Uh, Black Ops is a very demanding game, so hopefully this is not going to screw up fraps too much. Uh, <clears throat> so it should be just good enough for us to to do this uh, so I can show you some things so I chose Black Ops because I wanted to do a different game I could have chosen COD 4 and so on I just wanted to be a little bit different so I can show you some things okay so there we go probably should have turned the sound off before I did that. I apologize for that guys the sound was a bit loud but yeah, the beauty of Black Ops intro is always like half an hour long, and uh, as you know, I need to run fraps before I get into the game, otherwise it will only record the game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go on campaign, I'm going to go, uh, what do you mean new game? I was on a specific mission already. Campaign, oh, resume game, I was going to say. Alright, so resume game, all I'm, all I'm at is at the beginning, right at the beginning of the, uh, the game. So, let's see if this skips, because I haven't got all night. Um... Yeah, so this is going well. So I'm going to run Cheat Engine whilst this is doing whatever the crap it's doing. Okay, so here we are at Black Ops. Um, I reduced the uh, thingies to as much as I could, as this is taking up my CPU and a fair bit more than it should be. Uh, so as you can see the graphics are uh, crapped down by a lot so I have to have this on quite low otherwise I won't be able to run it. Um, but yeah, next time I'll choose a, a weaker performance graphics um, based game. Alright, so here I am. I'm just going to go out in the open quickly so I can show you this. So the beauty of <clears throat> the beauty of uh, Memory Dissect, what this basically does, as you'll see in a second or two, what this basically does is um, Let's say you've got a variable in memory, let's say you've got ammo, uh, actually I'll give you a better example because ammo is what we're going to be doing. Let's say you've got um, your character's exposition, because we were doing coordinates on the last tutorial. Let's say you've got the character's exposition uh, and you want to find uh, Y and Z. Now without doing it manually, all you do is you look for exposition on memory dissect and from there you can see Y and Z, at least in 9 out of 10 times is what you're going to see. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is something we've done a ton of times, just searching for a variable. So I'm going to hook this into Black Ops, and we're going to search for a variable. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm actually considering searching for a variable because I want to take a shot or two. Yeah, so I was messing about with this earlier, and um, I'm just going to change weapon quickly. Yeah, I was messing about with this earlier, and I kind of um, <clears throat> put some really good weapons, uh, or I was... Uh, giving myself too much ammo, so I'm going to change weapon quickly so I can have a nice clean start. Um, yeah, give myself an assault rifle, that should be good enough. Okay, so I've got a nice little assault rifle, everything normal, nothing else out of the ordinary. So, first thing I'm going to look for is 30, I want to find my ammo, so let's go 30. Uh, damn, I'm pretty surprised, I'll be surprised if um, this doesn't crash or anything because <laughs> I've only got like 4 gigs of RAM, I really got to get a better PC soon. Alright, so there you go. Do, 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 do. So, at this point, we've done all this so far. Um, it's just a simple fetching something from memory. Should be quite straightforward. Um, shouldn't have a problem with that. I'm going to close another app or two just so I can get a bit more. So, there we go 30. I'm going to take a couple shots. 24. Ammo left. I want to get that ammo. And usually it's the first one for this one game anyway. Uh, depends what you're dealing with. So, I'll change 33. That's it. I'm going to lock it just to confirm. As you can see, I'm shooting as much as I want, and that is pretty much uh, my limited ammo there. Now, we've got the ammo, but let's say we want to find out, because we've got a secondary weapon, I'm going to swap this, I don't have RPG yet. Let's say we want to swap out, uh, we've got um, a shotgun, but as you can see, our primary weapon has ammo. How do we find the shotgun? We search for it on the um, on cheat engine. Wrong. Most of the time, we'll be able to find that from the initial position of the first gun's um, location in memory. So, let's go here. <clears throat> we know that this address is where... 
Ah oh, crap, I'm gonna write this on notepad. We know on this address is where our ammo is. So zero one C zero. Remember the first zero and doesn't really matter, but I sometimes write it down anyway. One C zero eight F zero zero. Let's just confirm that. So you click on memory view, you get this, and then your tools dissect data slash structures is what you want to do. So I'll click and close that if you like. Um, you then put a number here, which is the one you're looking for, and you go click structure, define new structure, and you can call it whatever you like. I just normally just put some letters on it. It doesn't really matter. Say so yes, and this is the size of the structure. So you can say you want to uh, see more memory than is here already. So this is going to go 4096 down in memory um, location. So as you can see, I've got this here, th 33 right at the top. As you can see, that there's my ammo. Uh, you can't really see it because I've frozen it. I'm going to freeze it quickly just so you can have a better look. So as you can see right there, I'm taking shots and that's my ammo right there. No problem. So, what's below here? What's that 10? Well, I don't know myself. It could be anything. So, as you can see, do you see that 7 there? That is my second weapon right here. So, uh, just to confirm this, add to address, add address to list. We come here. Um, let's put shot gun or secondary that's more relevant secondary and let's say we want to freeze this just to confirm it's the right one so as you can see that's how easy it is that is incredibly straightforward and from just using uh, dissect data structures we found uh, we found our second weapon uh, in very quick um, amount of time so it was a lot so we've got an M16 with a grenade launcher all right so here we are, we're going to mess around with the grenade launcher quickly, so let's put the grenade launcher on. We take a shot. Now, if you were paying attention there, look at this number right here. See? That just became 1. I shoot, that becomes a 0, right here, and then it becomes a 1 as soon as it's reloaded. What does this mean? It means that this is somehow related to the noob tube. So I'm going to try and stick it at 1, and let's see what happens. Shoot, shoot. As you can see, it no longer reloads. Why? Because we're probably saying to the game, the... Uh, noob tube is okay to reload. That's probably a boolean right there saying is it okay to reload and say yes because uh, We're not actually checking ammo. We're not checking anything like that. We're simply just saying is this okay to shoot and there you go We have ourselves a pretty strong weapon right here. It's just a noob tube that doesn't end and it's You know what noob tubes like are like they do a hell of a lot of damage So and so far we found this. Uh, let's go back there. and Let's see what we get so now we've got a couple more things. We see a seven here. What's the seven? Seven we figured out that is the uh, is that the ammo? Which which one? So three was what is seven? Uh, this could be anything really. We don't know. Uh, we've got a four there as well. We don't know what this could be. Uh, there's a small chance it could be our grenades. So we've got four grenades. There's a chance that would be that. So let's add to address. Let's, let's confirm that's correct. So let's throw one grenade. Should become three, and there you go. That's our grenade's address, most likely. So let's throw grenades, and from finding first address, we just easily found our grenades. So that's unlimited grenades for us. Um, we've got. I'm going to freeze this address, secondary, primary. So we've got ourselves got limited uh, initial weapon, secondary as well, and that is pretty good. Now, in a lot of games, you'll be able to do things like. Um, no reload time. I was messing around with Black Ops trying to do this here, but I'm guessing that has to be done through Ali Debug or I mean um, You have to literally go in the uh, What's this called? You have to go into the assembly and modify that, but that's another story. So um, That's something you can always follow in my Ali Debug tutorial, but let's not worry about that for now And in a lot of games you'll see for example If you take a couple of shots and reload you'll notice that uh, a number changes for example in a soul cube I was messing around with it earlier um, if you reload just all you have to do is do things and watch here see what changes here because a lot of times you can do anything like change um, um, uh, auto, uh, semi-automatic weapon into an automatic just by changing the one to a zero and do all that kind of stuff so as you can see we've got good old grenade launcher which we've just given ourselves pretty much limited ammo and uh, well, it's almost like rapid fire, isn't it? So we've also got this here. Uh, let's try this here. So we've got, as you can see, look at that. We've also got, you know, pretty much unli unlimited um, rockets. Uh, and as you can see here as well, um, this is not reloading because we changed that to a constant one as well. So you can tell that uh, the grenade launchers and uh, RPGs are related to that zero 
and one so at the beginning when you change the noob tube um, I know that for a fact because I changed it earlier but basically the uh, rocket launcher is related to the noob tube because it's um, oops I don't kill myself because it's a um, uh, grenade related weapon so that's you can see that there what else is there that you can do let me think about this for a second there's quite a few things you can do um, so you're 30 a lot of the time you'll find things like rapid fire and so on here uh, this is especially useful for that thing we were doing earlier with the coordinates so like I said earlier if you find your Y coordinate um, all you have to do is put it here uh, and most of the time just go back so let's say you want to go back on this a little bit so let's for example say you got your Y coordinate just do this number minus 8 which is 4 bytes for the Z and another 4 bytes for the first X and then you have your first three coordinates for your uh, aimbot or ESP or whatever so um, there isn't much more I can say to this I mean I could have chosen a game with more things that you can do but basically most of the time you're able to do things like um, no recall uh, won't happen that much but things like rapid fire you find it a lot this way um, unlimited ammo finding so let's say for example you find the player's health you'll often find everything else about that player structure here that's why this is such a good tool because well, let's say for example you find something simple like the player's health or if you go here actually this is an online game but if you for example find the number of kills you've got you can probably find all other information about your play you just need to spend some time and view the memory here see what changes when you do something and that's usually when it's related for example earlier I was running with a gun and I was able to uh, set it up so that I could run sprint and shoot at the same time so you know you can try to do both you can't because it stops you immediately I was doing that earlier I don't remember which address it was but it was one of these so as you can see you can do a lot of things uh, this is one of those games where you can't do that much but um, most other games that I found um, you can do quite a few more things but it's all about testing that's what most of these things are about so um, I'm sorry this wasn't too in-depth this one because I think I like to think memory dissect is quite simple so once again if you want to do it to something you go memory view tools uh, dissect data structures and you just put that address in memory that you care about and then uh, see what you what you get anyway so I hope that was somehow interesting and I hope you learned something from it I was asked to do this uh, by some people um, and this isn't that much it's not really a difficult thing to use it's more known to most people I didn't know about it until I found a tutorial on it quite a while ago so it's a very simple tool to use but it can be really really useful so again I hope you enjoyed that uh, this should be my last one of this series I might do more later on um, hopefully if you guys want me to do something specific let me know if you want me to, to do a specific part in cheat engine that I haven't already covered let me know what you thought of these tutorials guys I know a lot of you advanced people um, would prefer if I was doing more difficult stuff which I will be as well soon um, let me know if it helped you out I always appreciate uh, feedback guys I always appreciate your constructive criticism and all that good stuff um, so yeah, I'm going to be out now and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. See you later.